This is Mac Voices TV. This edition of Mac Voices TV is brought to you by Rogue Amoeba, makers of fine audio software such as Airfoil. With Airfoil, you can send audio all around your house. That's Airfoil by Rogue Amoeba at rogueamoeba.com. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner, and this is Mac Voices TV at Macworld 2011 in San Francisco. We are in the Reco Soft booth talking to my buddy Paul about what they're doing this year. Paul, it's great to see you. Great to see you too, Chuck. You, you made good on your threat. You're back. Oh, we always make good on our threat. <laughs> Not sure I like the sound of that. Um, we signed up for next year already. Yeah, that, you told me that before, and that's great. That's great. So we will be doing this again a year from now. Hopefully. <laughs> but this year, we, we better stick to the present and let the people see what it is that Recosoft is offering this year. Each year, I seriously, the one thing I can count on is you guys bringing out either a cool new product or a cool revision to an existing product. Which is it this year? Well, we have a cool new product this year, and the name of the product is ID to Office. Um, ID to Office stands for InDesign to Office. Uh, ID to Office actually allows you to export InDesign documents directly to the Word or PowerPoint formats. And while it does the conversion, it re replicates or actually maintains the layout so that when it when it's converted to the Word or PowerPoint format, it looks like the original InDesign document. And we do a good job. You always do. You you all have become really the experts in converting things to Office from a lot of the Adobe products, from a few other places into, into Adobe. I mean, you just you keep crossing things all over the place. It's an interesting niche you've carved out, carved out for yourself. Well, you know, someone has to do it, right? <laughs> and you do it so well. Can you show us a little? Sure. Maybe Let's just go to, to the screen now. I'll, I'll give you a demo of ID to Office. Here we go. Okay. To use ID to Office, we simply click on the file menu in InDesign, uh, click on the export to Office format command, and at this point in time, the ID to Office Options dialog appears. Just click on Export, say Save, and the document is exported to the Word format. Once the export is complete, double-click the Word file, and we get this opened in Word, and we can compare the fidelity of the document. The, left doc the document on the left is the original InDesign file. This is the converted output. Text is live, and when you go to the second page, the table over here is a actual table in Word with all the formatting intact and other data elements intact. So everything is editable. The graphics are in there just like I had created this originally in Office. Exactly. So I can modify it and change it to my heart's content, but I was able to leverage what somebody else did in InDesign, somebody that's better at desktop publishing or design than I am. Exactly. And we didn't even spend more than 15 seconds doing this export functionality. And as you said, editable text, all, my, all the graphics are there. I can pull those out, do anything I could do with them that, as if I had done it, if I had created it in Word. Exactly. You have full editing capability within Word. So this is an InDesign plugin that shoves it out. You don't actually work on independent InDesign files. Exactly. It, it, it's a one one click, two click solution. One click, two click solution. What do you think we should charge people for this? I know that's a loaded question. <laughs> so I, I I forgot. What do you do? Like one sixty nine, one ninety nine? Well, actually, this is not well, this is not shipping yet. We're going to be shipping in a couple months, and we're using Macroll as a basis to get gauge feedback um, for the product. You know, for the price of the product. Okay, so you don't have a, a shipping price yet. Yeah, except we don't have one. Okay. Well, I vote for one ninety nine. One ninety nine. Okay. One ninety nine. It is. No. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I had power. Uh, no. Well, it. You know. I mean, I'm serious. It's taking your products just just work. They work the way things should. They just work. And there are times you get things in a document you want to get them the heck out, or in in one program you want to get them out. And you you let me do it all the time. I've used your products, and they've saved my bacon more than once. Oh well, that's that's good to know. <laughs> okay, so what's the expected ship date of this? Um, we expect to ship this. Uh, we expect to ship ID to office end of March this year. Not next year, this year. <laughs> and the price is, yeah, unlike some. Uh, the price, uh, excuse me, the uh, the website is? www.recosoft, that's R-E-C-O-S-O-F-T.com. Perfect. 
Paul, it's always great to see you. Thanks so much. We'll definitely see you again back here next year. Thank you, too. <laughs> Folks, more from Macworld 2011 in San Francisco soon. I'm Chuck Joyner, and this is Mac Voices TV. Thanks for watching. Mac Voices TV is part of the Mac Voices Group and a member of Mac Level 10.